Hey, watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five hey, years of learning Sorry. and all for the nothing. For some easy money? I just Not have easy. to get it right this time. Easy enough. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? Wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see, as far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you've got no one to lean on. Aiden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. The whole world is gray. But also clear. Aren't you? That... Howdy. Up the Not yet. I'm missing foil for the roof. <sighs> That's bad. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See? He's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big 
huge! You're saying it has potential? Potential, yes! It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... a... Uh, Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come round to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Come here. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Word on the rooftops is that water stocks are all. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottled. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier Marco always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Job so bad in my life. I don't 
detected. Hans? Hans, you there? Hans? That water. <coughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. <laughs> It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Hans? Hans? <clears throat> Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> So she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. 
Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal.
Make way, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident, okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. Then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. 
Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. So wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Seen before. What does it look like? <laughs> not, a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. Yeah. <sighs> 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 
in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. <sighs> Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Inhibitor container detected. <laughs>
hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said- Lucas is dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone.
Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. And besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through, once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. 
Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Could you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. The key is the right... What's that all about? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. Wait, distilled arts? Serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results and they say she is a witch. Well, how can a witch help you become a better bartender? A mixologist, and she's not a witch really, but a healer. The superstitious call her a witch. Ah, oh, so she makes potions and such. Indeed, and only she possesses the knowledge of combining ingredients properly to ensure I'm not poisoning my new customers. A carrier told me that this woman uses the guts of infected in her potions. Can you believe that? Not really. But you can see how it would be easy to create a deadly poison as a healing potion, right? So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. Yeah, naturally. Where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. Don't think you'll have to try too hard to convince people to drink booze. Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. Yesterday I had a good of day. Of course, I'll need Killed my own five body. infected I while on patrol. For someone else. Nice. Right. Maybe you could three. scout some prime because locations for me too. Without Do you have alcohol? If you're lucky, like me, found this bottle in a basement while on patrol. And so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's got to do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you want to join us? What would I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? You must help us, turn the place upside down. otherwise there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your home, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'll be nothing. I need to get myself a weapon. Keep your away from our home. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro.
Come on, tell me. So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Aitor doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Aitor said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbazos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Hubert? Nah, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too, so get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half-assed. That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess.
Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. If you can't yeah, sure. Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. <laughs> Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. God, he's not here. Oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. on that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. Hubert! I just want to talk! Leave me alone. Don't hurt me! I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No.
strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Shithole indeed. <laughs> hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. What's so funny? Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens so a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him. And I take the brass who's a Watsits, cause I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's he what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay. I'll give you the stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Back on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay.
know they don't pay overtime here, right? Don't matter to me. I need the money. Swan was right about you. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Man, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Aiden, still alive? Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. 
Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. It's high time command deals with the water issue. We need to take the water tower back. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. <coughs> you cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, Free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism. Belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then?
I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for... A certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son? Kinda shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work, by any chance? Hey, perhaps it's been happening. Back in the day. I had a huge, a massive, and uh, 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 well, and uh, 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 a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. I invite you to browse. Sophie sent me. 
She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fucks! They've already sent one of their... F f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow... Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... A hundred and twenty... A hundred and... Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. Shop elsewhere, <laughs> and be this... Uh... Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work, by any chance? Well, well... What did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before, in the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go, at once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best.
Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry! Sophie, Taden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Fuck, 
Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will have them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie, we found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One... Two, three, go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck shit! Great. for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Blood. Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Aiden, hey, you find birdie? And I, I wasn't going down without a fight.
Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. 
who took over the Metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself and... 
It got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. 